And so please keep that energy going for these next two folks that are uh, very funny. Uh, your next comic, uh, uh, he's been on our show before. I know you guys are going to love him. Give it up for Vandad Carter, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I thought it was, now nah, while well, I'm jacking off, that's another part of the song. Because I got high. Alright, hope this set goes well, knock on wood. How you guys doing, Hamilton? Yeah! Right on, right on. How many of you guys are high right now, like the after? Yeah! Yeah! Alright! The best audience, just the two guys in the front. Yeah! Woo! I did a, I did a show once in, uh, in Espanol, Ontario. You guys ever heard of that place? Yeah, nice. It's like an hour away from Sudbury, I think. Or Su Sudbury, or I don't know. One of the ones that starts with an S. I don't even know. Which one? Sudbury. Yeah, Sudbury. Yeah, it's like an hour from there. So I'm trying to like convince people to come to the show earlier, and I'm like, you know, kind of putting a good face on it. I was like, yeah, come to the show. We got live comedy. And one guy's like, what kind of jokes do you tell? <laughs> and I'm trying to put a good face on it, trying to be diplomatic. I'm like, oh, you know, there's something for everyone. We got all sorts of. He goes, you tell dirty jokes? <laughs> Buddy, do we? Right this way, sir. <laughs> he was like our number one fan. He's like on our mailing list now. When we don't actually have a mailing list. I just have his email. And once in a while, I'm like, yo, what's up, man? He's like, yeah, dirty jokes. <laughs> Look at that. That was a good time. Also, it was weird because, like, I, I re I'm like trying to tell people to come to the show, like when I'm at this bar, I'm trying to convince them, you know, like it's 10 bucks for the show. And a lot of people are giving me resistance, they don't really like comedy or whatever. And then I realized, this is the only bar in this town. So, it's Saturday night, if they haven't hit the LCBO, they have to pay me $10 now. <laughs> like, I just, I was a cowboy, basically. I just like blew over a town, and then ran away, it was awesome. I don't even think we did comedy. I'm pretty sure we just got drunk. Like, I don't even. But uh, that's a little industry secret. Don't tell anyone. Um, well, I'm uh, I'm the other kind of Asian. The other guy was talking about being Asian. Like, like you get to hijack that shit, huh? You're the only Asian. You don't hear about our kind of Asian because we're too busy like blowing each other up or beating our wives. Apparently, I don't know. But uh, one thing we're good at, we're good at being exotic. We're fucking, we're sexy motherfuckers. I'm not, I'm not like this sexy, but like, I don't know. I feel like anytime I've had sex, like I've never had complaints. Like it's usually, it's usually good. I'm not trying to brag. But I recently dealt with my first squirter, guys. Oh my God, that is a whole different thing, right? Cause like until, have you ever been with a squirter? Nice. The thing is, until then, yeah, we gotta tie up the show. The problem, the thing is now though, in my head is, I'm thinking like all the other girls I've fucked, made love with. Sorry, this is a family show. All the other ladies I've been with could have just been lying to me, because if they don't squirt, like I don't actually, I just have to take their word for it. You know what I mean? Like she can come back years from now and be like, by the way, I never actually came. Like you suck. You suck at sex and like destroy me. But like the one who squirts, like, she can't tell me anything, right? Cause it's like, yo, I have evidence, okay? I have DNA samples in a lab right now. Like we could go to toe, toe to toe right now. Also, here's the thing about squirting. I didn't know it comes out like hot. Like I didn't, I thought it'd be room temperature, you know? It came out hot. Like there's so many, it's like the marvels of science right now in my head. So I'm thinking like, what's the dual application? Like, if we're winter camping, and I need to, like some tea. Can I just like, you know? <laughs> Is it really good? Well, like, I'm from I'm from Toronto. Uh, you guys heard of it, right? You guys hate it. Uh, Steel City, you guys are great. Um, one thing in Toronto, we're always trying to we're trying to get our game, women game, right? There's so many women. How do you keep up? So much competition. Um, it used to be that like I'd, I'd make sure there's like booze in the house, you know what I mean? Place it somewhere strategically so they come in. Oh look, there's booze! Like, kind of, kind of, you know, foreshadow what's to come. But now I find the best thing you can put in your room if you want to attract women 
in Toronto at least, is like really expensive honey. I put a bottle of like $12 buckwheat honey, I'm getting laid. You know what I mean? They drip, I drip. It's perfect. You, want, you, you drip what you eat, guys. You know? Fuck. Loving it up here. I, uh... Sorry, you guys are awesome. You guys are fucking sick. I uh, brought my dad. Uh, my dad's here filming and stuff. He's always one for great advice. Um, I remember one time I was playing a video game, I was like 10 or something, he comes in the room and he's like, what is this? What are you doing, my dog? I'm like, oh, playing a video game. He's like, game? You need to find girl and fuck! That's his game! <laughs> I was like, I'm 10, what are you doing? He's like, doesn't matter. He's like, you need to go and fuck before the world fucks you, man. Like, I still... But I know, I know what he's talking about, because I'm a broke-ass kid in downtown Toronto, so like... Clearly, life has fucked me. <laughs> you guys, uh, what kind of sex do you guys like? What? Okay, you definitely take it up the ass. That's <laughs> like the, it's like the, oh, I, I like the vaginal sex. It's like, what are you, what are you hiding right now? You know what I mean? Like, how many bodies are in your closet? Four. Good answer. Five's a good number, too, though. It's like, you know. Yeah. Well, five, you can, like, you can have an off day, like Friday. Anyways, we'll talk about the show. Do uh, you guys on Tinder? All that kind of stuff? Yeah. yeah. That shit fucking, like, I don't like it, because it's basically, like, going, like, our, what's happened in our world right now? Like, what happened to meeting a nice girl? Like, it's all about sex now, really? You know what I mean? I'm trying to, I'm, I don't just want to fuck. Like, that's, like, the stereotype. I just want to fuck him and leave him fucking. I want to fucking... Hold hands. That's what I want to do. I want to hold them tight and tell them everything's going to be all right. But mostly, guys, I want them to hold me tight and tell me everything will be all right. You know what I mean? Every time I get laid in my head immediately, I'm like, is this my new girlfriend? <laughs> Most of the time, they're like, whoa, buddy, we just want someone to jizz on our tips up for the night, okay? Don't be a fucking pussy. But I can't help it. I got a big heart. Look, she feels it. <laughs> Uh, I got a big heart, and uh, that helps when you don't have a big dick, right? It's one or the other, right? So I tell them, I tell them girth matters, but uh, okay. Have you guys ever done anal? You guys like anal? Yep. yep. Whoa! Yeah, you really like? It. Yep, yep. <laughs> but what? The problem with anal to me, everyone's like, yeah, man, it's so good because it's so tight. Like, yeah, it's like tight, but like, fuck, first of all, if you want that tight, like, fuck a 17 year old. Like, why are you, why are you playing around? But like, it's not the good kind of tight either, I feel like. Like, I've only done it once, but it was, just don't bother with it, it was a pain in the ass. But like, just the fact that it's like, like, yeah, it's tight, but it's like, that's not, it's not, a, it's more like someone's grabbing your dick and just squeezing it as hard as they can. Like, that's not the good kind of tight I'm after. You know what I mean? Like I said, I just want to hold hands. I don't really know. I just want it to be around my hand, not around my dick. You guys can swell. Um, I don't know how I'm doing for time, but I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all so much. Let's get Patrick Coppolino up here. You're going to love your headliner. Yep, yep. All right, we have one comic left.